Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to Kazoo Fridays. I've been working on this series for, I don't know, maybe a couple years now, and I've got a playlist with all the videos. In fact, I've got that up on the screen back here, and I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. Over the course of these videos, I have explored all kinds of different kazoos, but one thing that has come up a couple times in my previous videos is people have said, why haven't you done the comb kazoo, the basic comb kazoo, the simplest kazoo there is? So let's do that today. What do you need to make a comb kazoo? You need a comb. Just a standard comb like this, just a hair comb. That's it. You need a piece of wax paper, and this is well, way more than I need. So you just need a small piece of wax paper, and then you need some tape. And you might also want a, uh, a marker or a pen or something handy to mark where you're gonna cut. So the first thing is you wanna look at the width of your comb here. And then you wanna take your wax paper, and you want your wax paper to be just about the width of the tooth part of the comb. So this is actually, this is actually about perfect. See that how it's, it's almost, it's just a little bit narrower, that's perfect. Um, and then you want it to be long enough to wrap around and basically touch the plastic like this on both sides. So what I'm gonna do here, so that's about where we want it, and then I'm gonna flip it this way and I'm gonna make a mark with my Sharpie here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna cut the paper right there. So then what you do is you take your tape, put a piece of tape up here on the top like that. Set the kazoo in there. Fold that and again, you wanna pretty much cover the teeth like that. You wanna do the same thing on the other side. Now, some people have said uh, that it's better to use two pieces of tape and tape it, you know, at both ends. But all you're doing is just keeping the uh, the wax paper from moving. So it's not like, you know, it's not rocket science here. You just don't want it to, to move on you. And so after you've got it taped, it should look something like this. And then you kind of want to put your mouth like right about where the logo is on my comb, like kind of between the tape, I guess you'd say. And you make the kazoo sound, and then you just might have to go up or down a little to fine tune it. But what should happen is the wax paper should vibrate against the teeth of the co, and you should get a kazoo-like sound. So let's try it. This is the first time I've tried this, by the way. There we go. Anyway, that's how you make a kazoo from a comb. So there you have it. And if you like what I do on this channel, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. If you like Kazoo Fridays, please give it a thumbs up for me. I'll see you guys soon.